23,000 views, 426 hours of watch time, 146 subscribers, $13.48 in the last 28 days. If you was to do this for the next 10 months each month, you would be monetized in under a year. You have 4,000 watch hours, you would have 1,000 subscribers, you would have over 200,000 views on YouTube. And for me, this is just the beginning. I found a phone for me that's been working the most consistent throughout the month, and I'm here to show you guys what you need to do to build your YouTube career. Now people might say, oh man, 10 months, that's too long. I wanna be monetized now. Here's the thing about YouTube. YouTube is the long game. You gotta learn a little patience when it comes to YouTube. YouTube, you're gonna have to put in a year and a year and a half worth of work to be able to make an income two, three, four, five, ten years down the line. There are YouTubers that have been doing YouTube for ten years now. And they've been monetized for nine of those ten years. You know, they had to put in the framework from the jump so they can see the YouTube and their building basically grow. Let's just talk, let's just think of it as a building. You're building this community, you're building this your brand awareness, all this good stuff over the long haul. So in this video, we're gonna show you what you need to do and give you some advice, the tools that you need to have to give yourself the best chance of making it on YouTube. Now, most of you guys are gonna look at this video just like you look at every other video. This is probably the 15th video you watch. I know it is. It's like the 15th video you watch today on how to make better on YouTube. It's the 15th. Here's the thing. Let this be the last video you watch on how to get good on YouTube, how to get subscribers on YouTube, how to get uh, views and watch time and get monetized on YouTube. Let this be the last video you watch. Take the information in this video and just go do it. Just go do it. That's all you got to do. Lemon water. Lemon water. Make sure you drink this. But before we begin, watch this video. With me so they had to chase me. Lost in the city all my life. This is just a maze. Got me in their range. Who are you to blame? When guns are drawn on you, you just hoping they can't aim. So yeah, guys, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. This is actually my third, fourth stage. I've had other channels in the past that I've grown to thousands of subscribers as well. Um, this is just a channel I'm focused on now, right now, and once again, I'm getting, I'm seeing a growth. In fact, I'm seeing a lot better growth this time around that I've had, ever had in the past. So this is why I'm going to use my main channel right now, the one you're watching the video on, as the channel that I am going to show you, you know, some results and everything, and uh, give you the best advice I can possibly give you. Now, the first thing you need to be successful here on YouTube is you need a extension that's going to show you keywords because the, the number one main thing of growing on YouTube is search engine optimization. I'll get into a brief explanation of what search engine optimization is. So search engine optimization is basically using keywords and having people find your videos through, through searching through whether that's YouTube or Google. YouTube is a search engine. It's a it's like it's it's just like Google but for videos. So people find your videos because they're searching for something specific and your video pops up. And if you use specific keywords, your video will have a better chance of popping up when someone searches for your video or searches for whatever topic your video is. When I talk about keywords, I'm talking about having a good title, having whatever you're talking about. Let's say you're talking about losing weight. In your title, you want to say how to lose weight you know, in seven days or whatever. You wanna have that type of a title. Um, in your description, you wanna have a long description because, um, not a very long description, but you wanna have specific keywords in the description because Google uses what's in your description as the search tools as well. Whatever keywords is in your description is also can also rank your video. Most importantly, you want your tags to have these keywords as well. Now, how do you find the right tags and the right keywords to having your videos. Well, you need to find an extension and there's plenty out there. There's extensions like vidIQ, Keyword Explorer, that will show the keywords of every video that you go into, will show the tags that those videos have. This is another great tool to have. The one we're gonna use and the one I highly recommend and as the best one that's worked for me is called TubeBuddy. Now let's go to the computer and let me show you more about TubeBuddy. Sorry I did turn the light on so I get a little better lighting. You know, gotta get your lighting right too. We'll get to, we'll talk about that too later on. Anyway guys, so, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an awesome program. Now, I'm not gonna get too in depth on TubeBuddy, but we are gonna show you a couple of things and I'll give you a couple of advice what you can do 
Um, sorry, still fixing my camera because I'm still a newbie. Um, I'm gonna give you some advice on what you can do with TubeBuddy and uh, certain some of the things that. It so TubeBuddy basically, if you go on anybody's channel that does any type of um, maybe a tutorial and they're on their computer or they're showing you YouTube stuff. I mean, any YouTuber, just about all of them uses TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is free. Um, in fact, there's a link down in my description if you want to sign up with TubeBuddy, which you should. And um, it is free to try. So you can try it for free, see if you like it. Um, I would highly recommend doing one of the paid versions. So I have, um, I paid for the $10.99 uh, paid version. And let me just go into a little bit what TubeBuddy does. So as you can see, this is my channel. Um, you got YouTube here, you got TubeBuddy right here. This is the extension that will be that will be showing up on your YouTube page uh, once you have it. As you see, I am a licensed pro. Um, they even give you some tutorials and everything how to use TubeBuddy and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but the main thing is the Keyword Explorer. So once you go and click here on TubeBuddy, you can go to Keyword Explorer right here. It has all kinds of other things, but let's just start with that. Um, here you can type in, like, say, here's the thing about keywords. You want to, before you even make your video, you want to do a little bit of keyword research. You want to actually research the keywords that you need to already have before you even make the video or before you at least upload the video. You want to do this keyword research just to see which keywords are the best to use. And TubeBuddy ranks these specific keywords. So let's go back to, let's say if we're trying to make a, um, a fitness video, right? So right here, we'll type in... Um, let's just type in fitness just to start. So fitness right here, we'll click explore. Now they'll give you a ranking on whether or not this is a good keyword and they break down the rankings. Now they are saying that this fitness is a poor keyword. One, also with keywords, you want to make sure that they're more than just one word. Every tag needs to be at least two words. One word isn't really going to help you out because it's so vague. Um, and it's so broad. You want to be not too specific, but you want to be um, specific enough to where you'll get a better ranking. Here's why this is poor. Although people are searching, the search value for this is excellent, as we can see that. Although that is the case, the competition is high. It's very poor, meaning that although a lot of people are searching for it, there's too many people in this niche just to have just fitness. So when you're doing some keyword research, what you need to do is look at on here on TubeBuddy, they give you even some related terms you can use. Like, for example, okay, maybe instead of fitness, let's just let's just choose this uh, fitness blender one as an example, right? Let's say we're making not just a video on fitness, but fitness blender. Uh, fitness blender is still a little too specific. However, I would probably use fit. Let if you're making a video about fitness blender, then I would do that. So yeah, instead of doing something like fitness or something, you can do something like lose weight, lose 20 pounds fast. As you can see, now you, like I said, you gotta do some keyword research. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I was on here searching and the weight loss niche is so saturated. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to find a good one, but it's so saturated when you do find a good one, oh, you're gonna stand out. Like something as far as like lose 20 pounds fast, um, there's, search, there's good search volume, there's not as much competition, um, and the optimization strength is really high too. Um, now there's still a lot of videos, there's a video, videos average, and it tells you how many videos and views that average the amount of views and stuff. It's just uh, so much data in TubeBuddy. Let me get into something else that TubeBuddy does. Now, another way to easily do once the keyword research is just when you go and you can type in fitness into your YouTube search bar. And when you do that, of course you'll see a bunch of videos, but here on the side for TubeBuddy, you'll also get the uh, the keyword stats for um, that search, right? Now let's go to this particular video and I'm gonna hey, turn it on. Nah, let's turn it on. I don't want this person uh, even though they got more views than I. I'll ever get at this point in time. You also, as I said, you'll see the tags in this video. Right here, you can go to show so search rankings. This is also part of TubeBuddy. And what this does will show the rankings of 
the video. So basically, if someone types in Pop Sugar Fitness, this rank this video will rank seven. The seven it'll be the seventh video showing up. But look at all of these rankings. Now, there's a lot that goes into those rankings, not just how good the keyword is, is how good the video is performing and stuff like that. But you can check on your own videos and see maybe after like a day or two, see what your videos are doing. Because you can go to your videos and do that and see where they're ranking on the um on YouTube and things like that throughout the search engine. Um, and throughout when, what people searching for and see where it's ranking at. Another great thing about TubeBuddy is that when you're uploading a video, as you can see right here, um, there are, and I, I'm uploading a random video right now. So right here, it'll give you some recommended tags and it'll give you the score of the tags. You can sort by score or relevance. Um, if I'm, this thing uploaded very, very fast. It was a very short video and I was going to take down. But uh, um, it'll give you a score of what's ranking. It'll give you the relevance of the tag to whatever video. So what you want to do first um, when, you, when you're when you here, you're going to want to put your um, your title. Make sure your title's good. Make sure you have your description already filled out. And then this, this will automatically generate the keywords that you need. You can also easily get the keyword explorer just from your upload page. Like TubeBuddy is awesome. I used to play Gears of War, so this is like one of my old Gears of War videos that I just uploaded, so uh, a couple of you guys know that. But yeah, guys, that was uh, TubeBuddy. Like I said, if you like the content, once again, like, comment, subscribe. Um, go ahead and get TubeBuddy, try it out for free. The link is in the description below. I was gonna make this video a lot longer. Actually, I did. I actually recorded a whole video about like five different ways to get big on YouTube, but the video was starting to get too long because I went a little more in depth in TubeBuddy than I wanted to, but it's all right. Make sure you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, take this advice. TubeBuddy is the first step though. So TubeBuddy or any of the other ones, the vidIQs or the Keyword Expo, I just think TubeBuddy has a lot more to offer than those two. I may make another video going more in depth in TubeBuddy and I also may make another video, just a uh, little broad things you guys can do to uh, get big on YouTube. But anyway guys, other than that, peace out. See you next time.